All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? Yes, sir. Ready on the rack. Ready on the lift. I'm gonna go from the last uh, minor chords there. Mm -hmm. Do the little 165, and then we'll be all in. Ready? Roger.
Welcome everyone to the Sportsman's Americana Music Foundation's Music at the Library, brought to you by the Buffalo Erie County Public Library and the Sportsman's Americana Music Foundation. Uh, my name is Greg Hennessy. I'm on the board with the uh, Sportsman's Americana Music Foundation. And we're happy this month to bring you Banjo Juice Jazz Band. And uh, these guys are great. They'll be here until 3.30. Um, a couple things. If you are so interested, Afterwards, uh, we will be going next door to the uh, uh, the Lafayette Brew Brewing Company, and if you want, I have tickets for a free <coughs> beverage and 10% off some food if you want to have uh, a table service. So uh, see me if you want. Next month, we will be here on Saturday, June 17th with Creek Bend. Uh, they're a great band also. I've been around for a long time. If you want a flyer for that, come see me too, and I'll be happy to give you one of those. And uh, always be looking out for uh, who's coming up. We do this once a month on a Saturday afternoon from 2 to 3.30. Um, and we'll be going all the way to the end of the year at this point. Um, and then hopefully into the next year. So uh, be on the lookout on our Facebook page and our website, sportsmansamf.org. And uh, you can check everything out. So I will leave it up to Banjo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to play some songs that are... Uh... It should be played in the library because they're so old, you know. <laughs> historical music, you know. So we're and uh, and if I have some some little tidbits to share about some of these songs, I'll, I'll try to do so to to make this a little bit of an edutainment situation. But yeah, um, so excited to be here. Uh, this is our second time playing here at the library, and uh, we were sure glad that we weren't outside today like we were last time. But we're gonna do a a nice uh, wilting, uh, kind of drunken sounding song called Wabash Blues for you. And what we're doing here today is, is, uh, is music inspired by uh, the birthplace of jazz music, New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, with, with a buffalo twist, you know, with our own special flavor on it. But here's the Wabash Blues.
Sunshine and macaroni, and, you know. So the Italian American New Orleans, you know. So, so I was trying to give it the Buffalo twist that I promised, you know. Sunshine and chicken wings. This is one that was uh, it's done by a lot of uh, jug bands, but also um, it was a great recording by Sid Bichet. This is called The Blues, My Naughty Sweetie Gives to Me. Everybody recorded this song. John Denver has a recording of this song. It's pretty wild. Google it. YouTube it. But, uh, yeah.
Sitting patiently and listening, are you ready to participate a little? Yeah. Did, you, did you wear your participances after that? <laughs> I got hurt again. All right, well, I'm going to teach you a song. It's got three words in it. You ready? The words are ham and eggs. Can you, can you handle that? Hey. Can you handle that? Yes. Ham and eggs. So when I say ham and eggs, you say ham and eggs. Can we try it? So I'll say. Ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. I hear you calling me. Ham and eggs. Oh, ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. I hear you calling me.
like church. Are we ready? Ready? I'm counting. One, two, three. We're going to ham. One, two, three.
You can tell just by looking at me, especially from the side profile. Well, uh, so that song is written by a fellow named Danny Barker. And uh, Danny Barker was a, a musician who was born in New Orleans, and he was a banjo player and a guitar player. And he wrote a wonderful book, and maybe you can check it out here at the library, I don't know. But a, a wonderful book, it's called A Life in Jazz. And I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful read, um, and, it, and it explains, uh, you know, just kind of a lot about New Orleans in the, in the turn of the century. Um, and, uh, you know, it's told from, from, a, uh, from the perspective of an African-American male. So uh, it wasn't always the greatest place to be in the South. Um, and, uh, but he moved to New York and he played with Cab Calloway in the Cotton Club. And um, he just had an amazing, amazing life. And I really recommend you read that book, A Life in Jazz. Right in this room over there. Is it over there? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can go check it out right now. But let's hear it for the Buffalo Library for hosting cool stuff like this. Man. This is pretty wild. And, uh, his name was Danny Barker, you know, and he, he helped start some, some, uh, some social clubs and, and bands down in New Orleans. And, and he was kind of um, one of the, the people who, who early on helped start the New Orleans Jazz Fest, too. You know, he was, he was part of it. But a uh, really, really amazing uh, fella and musician and prolific uh, songwriter. And his wife was a, a woman named Blue Lou Barker, who wrote these kind of um, uh, thinly veiled double entendres, kind of dirty ditties. <coughs> and pretty funny, pretty funny songs like "Don't You Feel My Leg," and things like of that nature. But uh, how about a favorite? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's a great one. Yeah, we're going to do an, another. Uh, you got a question? What was his wife's name again? Blue Lou Barker. Blue Lou. Blue Lou. Blue Lou. As in, I think it's L U. Lou. Blue Lou Barker and Danny Barker. Yep. Uh, we're going to do another song that was written by a famous New Orleanian. Um, we're giving you that Buffalo to New Orleans uh, pipeline right now, you know? And uh, this is a song by the great Jelly Roll Morton. And he was a pianist who uh, claimed to have invented jazz music. Um, I don't think anybody really invented it. It was kind of a group effort, I'd say. And, uh, but but uh, it just kind of grew. But, but they, say, you know, they say that New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz, and I, and I, I would say that that is correct. And, uh, but uh, this is a, a song that he recorded for the Library of Congress, another library. And uh, it, is, it is some of the lyrics that he recorded in that version are not appropriate for today. So I'm going to um, leave them out. But, uh, but I tell you what, if you want to go and look it up on YouTube, uh, it, it might just make Cardi B blush if, if she heard it, you know? So, but check it out. It's, uh, it's, this is called Sweet. No, no, no. That, we're doing Sweet Subs, too. I'm thinking about... No, the song you gotta look up is, um... Uh, what? Jelly Roll? No. no, hang on, hang on. It's, 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 uh... I'm sorry, I'm getting all ahead of myself. I, I slept Wine, in the day. Boy. Wine and Boy Blues. That's the one you gotta look. Look up the Wine and Boy Blues. And, uh, it's not safe for work. We're gonna do sweet substitute, and this is a, this is a song that was, uh, you know, he, he ate so many jelly roll donuts that he developed diabetes, and so he had to use Splenda in his coffee. So that's what the song's about, sweet substitute. No, I'm sorry, that's a terrible. That's not even a joke. That's it. That's that's barely banter. That's barely banter. We're gonna play more music now. All right.
send this one out to my my good friend Taylor Belling back there because I'm happiest when him and I are dancing cheek to cheek we got time for a few more yeah Bob we're so happy to be here we're called banjo juice jazz man big thank you to the sportsman's American music foundation and to the Buffalo library for having us also, a big shout out to our swing dancing friends from Swing Buffalo for coming out. 
two of you guys. Here's a song called Cheek to Cheek, and it goes out to the dancers and Taylor Belly. It just goes out to everybody, you know, I'm taking it all back. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, all right, we're going to do a nice slow one after that. I guess I didn't know how fast I started it. And they're just like, here we go. Band's right behind me.
confessing that I need you. Tell me, baby, do you need me too? Every second, every minute, every hour, every day. In your eyes, I meet such strange things. But don't live tonight, and it's true. Will your answer really change?
got time for a couple more. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thank it was a really, you. really good time. Thank uh, you. Really, really appreciate it. What a better way to spend a rainy day than hanging out in the library, <laughs> listening to a jazz band that you may or may not have known was going to be here. <laughs> we could do that. That sounds good. Some of these days. I like either of those. Those are both good picks. Is that Russian or some of these days? Russian. All right, we're gonna do a song. Uh, we're gonna do a song called Russian Lullaby for you. This is written by Irving Berlin. Oh, Jamie just told me he was born in 1888. So we're playing some modern stuff for you.
I'm gonna end with one that everyone should know. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you should come see us again, and uh, we've got a couple gigs coming up this uh, this summer. And I believe we'll be at the Lewiston Jazz Festival this year. You can come see us there. We don't have too, too much on the books right now, but I'm sure some things will pop up. And if you follow us on Facebook, that's the best way to know. But uh, here's one that was made famous by uh, the great Louis Armstrong. And uh, you can sing along if you know the words. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out.
Thank you. Thanks to the Library and Sportsman Paracom Music Foundation. Another big, come on, another big hand for Vancouver. Hey. If you want to get some banjo juice, I've got some uh, gift cards here to go next door right after the show here. They're good today. You get a free draft at the Lafayette Brewing Company. You get 10% off uh, table service for food. So see me if you want one of these. And next uh, month on June 17th is Creek Bend, uh, 2 to 3.30. We're always here 2 to 3.30 on a Saturday during the month, so check out again the Sportsman's Americana Music Foundation website and our Facebook page to check out when we're going to be here. Again, we want to thank Ann Connable and all her staff here at the library for hosting us. And thank you all for coming out and supporting us, and we look forward to seeing you next month. Oh, yeah. Oh, he hasn't heard my voice.